Why is nobody talking about this fight? These are exciting fighters to watch. If you watch their last fight, they kept you on your toes through all 12 rounds. In almost all the boxing groups I'm in, fans still talking about... Hello, HTV Unboxing fans. It is fight week. The fight between Jamal Charlo and Brian Castano, episode two for the undisputed super waterway title is coming on this Saturday in Carson, California. This is a much watch fight for boxing fans. If you don't believe me, go watch their last fight and thank me later. Before we go on, please don't forget to leave your prediction below in the comment section. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe or follow so that we keep bringing you more of this to you and your feedbacks will also be much appreciated. In this video, my work is cut out for me because this is a rematch. I'll do my best outlining how both fighters go, got here, focusing on specific fights of challenges and success and what they should be bringing to the fight this time in terms of their strengths, weaknesses, the strategies they both should be going in with this time. And of course, my prediction, this is talking boxing. So let's talk about Brian Castano. Castano has under his resume the interim WBA Super Waterway title, which he won in 2016, but was later stripped of it by not fighting the mandatory challenger. He went on to win the WBA Super Waterway title by beating Patrick Texera in 2021. I say this is likely Castano's biggest fight, mainly because of this undisputed tag but I will discuss the other reasons later. What are his strengths? The Argentine is a high volume boxer. This means that he throws a lot of punches at targeted points in the fight, similar to Demetrio Bivo of recent memory. Castano is also a pressure fighter, though he did not display this in his 2019 draw with Alara, but clearly brought it in his first bout with Charlo. He also has stamina. Castano can go the rounds. Four out of five of his last fights all went to decision after 12 rounds. That is proof that the man can go longer rounds. What are his weaknesses? There's only one thing that I would like to see more of. He does not possess, to me personally, that killer instinct. And I would, I would want to see more of that in this um, second match with Charlo. Let's talk about Jamal Charlo. Charlo won the WBC Super Waterway title in 2016 by beating John Jackson. He, however, lost the title in, um, to Tony Harrison in 2018, but won it right back in 2019. In 2020, Charlo beat Jason Rosario for the WBA, IBF, and the Ring Super Waterway titles, which he put all on the line last year, um, July, with Castano. But the fight ended up in a draw. So this is episode two coming on this Saturday. What are his strengths? Charlo is known to be able to mount great pressure. Again, watch the affairs bout to get a good picture of what I'm talking about here. The other attribute of Charlo is his power punch. Charlo carries a lot of power in his punches. And this is obvious when you watch him box. He's aware of this himself and almost always looks for the one hit quitter. I mean, you can't blame him as he has been successful in some of his fights with some knockouts doing it this way. Notably, knocking out Erickson Lubin in 2017 in round one. Compared to Castano, Charlo has a better jabs and it helps him keep his opponents at bay with the left hand while trying to secure that big knockout with the right hand. Does Charlo possess any weaknesses? Of course, many boxing fanatics feel Charlo is not mentally strong when it comes to boxing or when he's in the ring. He's emotional, they say, but I think what is happening here is his passion has been mistaken for his emotions. And at the end of the day, I feel Jamal Charlo overcomes it in the ring as his record um, shows. So what should be their strategies going into the night? But before we go to strategies, why is nobody talking about this fight? These are exciting fighters to watch. If you watch their last fight, they kept you on your toes through all 12 rounds. In almost all the boxing groups I'm in, fans still talking about Canelo and Bivo and Crawford and Spence. I think I know the reason. If you have any other thoughts why nobody is talking about Charlo and Castano, please put it in the comments. All right, regarding strategy, Showtime uploaded their previous fight and I watched it again. These are my thoughts based on that previous fight and what I know about these boxes. Their last fight was very exciting to watch. 
they both mounted pressure on each other and counter punch whenever needed and i expect them to be doing the same coming in on saturday however i feel charlo dependent so much on his jabs and less on body punches i'm hoping he comes in and focus on the body a bit and try to wear castano down if their last match is something to go with then we are in for a spectacular explosive non-stop action of boxing all night please again go watch it before this saturday and have a certain expectation for these boxes it's going to be fun it's going to be exciting and i'll be glued in right from the beginning whoever wins this becomes undisputed so i expect both boxers to bring in their best and i think we are going to see that now to my prediction i really don't want to do this it's going to be a very tough night for both fighters um, but we boxing fans are going to love it personally I believe both fighters have equal abilities and this is based on their last fight, how their last fight went. This fight could go either way and it's one tougher prediction for me. However, I still have to make a prediction and I feel because Jamel Charlo has most of the belts and stand to lose more, he may come in hungrier and may come in more aggressive. So I predict a win for him in unanimous decision. Yes, I expect the boxers to go their rounds. If the last fight is to be gone with. Thanks for watching and please state your prediction below the video and state why you think so. Also, please show some appreciation if you like this, share, subscribe and follow us so that we keep bringing more of this to you. This is Talking Box.